Good morning, everyone. My name is Todd. I'm going to be your logic tutor. Today, uh, we want to figure out the truth values for the different kind of complex statements, negation, conjunction, disjunction, conditional, and biconditional. We want to know when those are true and when they are false, which means we're going to have to consider a bunch of different possible combinations of truth values for their parts. The case that they're both true, both of the parts are true. The first is true, but the second is false, vice versa, or both are false. What are the truth values of the negation, conjunction, disjunction, conditional, biconditional, for these different possible interpretations. Let's begin by looking closely at the conjunction. Okay, so here we have a conjunction. Dogs are mammals and cats are mammals. We might symbolize this as D and C, and we know that dogs are mammals and we know that cats are mammals, so what do we think about the truth value of the entire expression? We think that it is true, okay? So, in the case where the first conjunct is true and the second one is true, we think the entire conjunction is true. Let's consider the next, <coughs> the next complex statement here. Dogs are mammals and hamsters are reptiles. We might symbolize that as D and H. Dogs are mammals for D and H for hamsters or reptiles. Well, dogs are mammals is true, we know, but hamsters are not reptiles, so that's false. So what do we think about the truth value of a conjunction when the first conjunct is true and the second is false? Well, if someone said something like dogs are mammals and hamsters are reptiles, we would say that that's not true. Why? Because hamsters are not reptiles. So, what we're saying is when the first conjunct is true and the second is false, we think the entire conjunction is false. So, get a third case. Hamsters are reptiles and dogs are mammals. We might symbolize that as H for hamsters are reptiles and D for dogs are mammals. We know hamsters are not reptiles. This part is false, uh, but the second part, dogs are mammals, is true. Uh, what do we think of the truth value of the entire conjunction? Hamsters are reptiles and dogs are mammals. Well, since they said and, and hamsters are not reptiles, we think that the entire conjunction is false. So, let's fill that in up here. We said that the first conjunct was false, the second was true, um, but the entire thing was then false. Now, a final um, complex statement that is a conjunction hamsters are reptiles and guinea pigs are reptiles. We might symbolize that as H and G. Hamsters are reptiles is false and guinea pigs are reptiles is false. So what if someone said hamsters are reptiles and guinea pigs are reptiles? We would say that entire sentence is false. Okay, uh, let's write that in up here. We saw the first conjunct was false, the second one was false, uh, in which case the entire conjunction is false. So now notice that the only time a conjunction is true is when both conjuncts are true. Okay? If one or more of the conjuncts is false, the entire conjunction is false. Now let's move on to understanding the truth table for another complex statement, disjunction. Okay. Now we have to talk a minute about what we mean by or in English. There's two possibilities. 
logically speaking. There's an inclusive or, and there's an exclusive or. What's the difference? Well, sometimes we say X or Y, and we mean or both. And then sometimes we say X or Y, and we mean one or the other, but not both. So, for example, of an inclusive or, I might say to my children, look, clean up your rooms or rake the yard, uh, and then I'll take you to Chuck E. Cheese. Well, suppose my children run off, they come back later, and they say, we cleaned up our room and re raked the yard. They did both of what I had asked. Uh, and I said, well, no, we were not going to Chuck E. Cheese, because I said, or. Well, they would think that this was quite unfair, because they were thinking I was using an inclusive or, which meant one or the other, or both. Okay, so inclusive means one or the other or both. Exclusive means one or the other, not both. Our symbol vel here, which one is it? Well, it's the inclusive or. Okay, so when we're thinking about the truth value of the statements, we have to remember that the or we're using is the inclusive or. That being said, let's look at the first statement here. Dogs are mammals, or cats are mammals. We might symbolize that as D or C. We know dogs are mammals, and we also know that cats are mammals. So what is the truth value of this disjunction? Well, now remember, we're dealing with the inclusive or, one or the other, or both. And since both are true, uh, we're going to say that the whole thing is true. So, let's write that in. In the case that the first disjunct was true and the second was true, and we have an inclusive or, we think the or is true. Let's look at a second disjunction. Dogs are mammals or hamsters are reptiles. You might symbolize that as D or H. Dogs are mammals is true hamsters are reptiles is false, but what do we think of the truth value of the entire phrase, the entire disjunction, dogs are mammals or hamster are, hamsters are reptiles, we would think that that's true, they said or, and at least dogs are mammals, so we would think that this is true. So let's fill this in on our truth table above. We said the first disjunct was true, the second was false, in which case we thought the whole disjunction was true. Moving on to our third case of a disjunction. Hamsters are reptiles, H, or D for dogs are mammals. Hamsters are reptiles is false, or dogs are mammals is true. Uh, what do we think of the truth value of this? Well, since it says hamsters are reptiles, which is false, or dogs are mammals, which is true, we're going to say the whole thing is true. So let's mark that in. We have the first disjunct is false, the second disjunct is true, and we thought the entire disjunct was then true. Now our final disjunction. Hamsters are reptiles, H, or guinea pigs are reptiles, G. Hamsters are reptiles is false. Guinea pigs are reptiles is false. So if someone said either hamsters are reptiles or guinea pigs are reptiles, we would say, well, that's false because neither are. So let's write that in. We've got false for the first disjunct, false for the second disjunct, and we thought the entire disjunction was false in that case. So notice that the disjunction is true whenever at least one disjunct is true. Or another way to think about it is the only time a disjunction is false is when both disjuncts are 
false. All righty. Now we're going to consider the conditional. We're going to do this one a little bit differently. We're going to do this by considering the following conditional. If it is raining, then there are clouds, which we might symbolize as if R, then C. So now the question I want to ask is this. When would this statement be false if it's raining then there are clouds. It would be false if it was raining and there were new clouds. So in other words, the antecedent is true and the consequent is false. That's when we would say the whole thing is false. So let's write that in in our truth table. And remember, our values go true, true. These are all the possibilities. True, false, false, true, and false, false false. So what we're talking about is this case where the first one is true and the second one is false. Line two. Okay, let me make that false a little clearer. We said this is the case where the conjunction, I mean the conditional, is false. Now, statements are either true or false, and if this is the case where it's false, everywhere else it must be true. Okay. Now, cases three and four might seem a bit odd to you. Uh, we will have a video explaining why those are, in fact, true. For now, just know that the only time that a conditional is false is case two, where the antecedent is true and the consequent is false. That's when the conditional is false. All right. Let's move on now to the biconditional, okay? Do this one a little bit differently. Consider the statement, Fred goes fishing if and only if, if and only if Barney goes fishing. So that might be F if and only if B. Now, suppose I told you that Fred went fishing was true and Barney went fishing was true. What would you think about the truth value of the biconditional. Well, you would think, yeah, it seems to be true. We said Fred goes fishing if and only if Barney goes fishing, and Fred went, and so did Barney. So, in the case where the first part of the biconditional is true and the second part is true, we think the biconditional is true. Let's look at the next one. Fred goes fishing if and only if Barney goes. Fred goes if and only if Barney goes, but this time, let's suppose that Fred went, but Barney didn't go, okay? Well, if someone says Fred goes fishing if and only if Barney goes, and we know that Fred went, but Barney didn't, we'd say that the biconditional is false. So let's write that in. The first was true, the second was false. We thought the biconditional was false. Let's consider the same biconditional again. Fred goes fishing if and only if Barney goes fishing. So Fred if and only if Barney. And let's suppose this time we know that Fred didn't go, but Barney went. Well, we would think that the claim Fred goes fishing if and only if Barney goes fishing is in fact false because Barney went without Fred. So let's write this in. So we said the first was false, the second was true, and the biconditional was false. Now, the final case, Fred goes fishing if and only if Barney goes, Fred goes if and only if Barney goes, and now let's suppose that we know that Fred didn't go, and we also know that Barney didn't go. What would we think about the claim, Fred goes fishing if and only if Barney goes? Well, we would think that it's true because here's a case where Fred didn't go and neither did Barney. So we would think that the biconditional is true. And let's mark that in. We have first part is false, the second part is false, and we think the biconditional is true. So uh, this one is a little bit harder to remember, uh, but you can notice that on line one, it's true, and both the truth values of the parts, true if and only if true, 
are the same and we got true. And on line 